Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 37 of This Week in K-Pop. In this episode, we talk about Tubic, Heini, EXO, Yunha, Secret, Big Star, Top Dog, Miss S, Dong He and Unyuk, and Jun Hyun. My name is Steven, and with me is my co-host, Josh. Hello! This Week in K-Pop is a discussion podcast that covers the week's K-Pop news and music video releases. And each week, Josh and I will alternate on deciding the best song of the week. Now, we did not record an episode last week because it's all my fault, actually. Um, I, I wouldn't say so. There, wa- there wasn't, I wouldn't say, a lot of um, non-Christmas carol songs. Um, yeah. Or ballads, so it, it's probably better that we have these kind of lumped together. True, it was uh, it was like Christmas ballad week, um, yeah. and I couldn't record on a normal day, and it kind of just threw us threw off the whole thing. And we were just like, why don't we just scrunch these two weeks together? Because in December, not that much happens that's noteworthy yet. But we did find some good songs in there. A lot of Christmas albums, though, yeah. Yeah, a lot of Christmas songs, a lot of ballads, a lot of kind of more low key, like the smaller bands are kind of. Blasting out while all the big bands prepare for their comebacks. Yeah. Um, so I had the pick last week. So since we did miss two weeks, I will pick two songs. Um, the first song that I had picked um, is from last week. It's Two Bic's Lonely Christmas. Now, Two Bic, um, for me, are some of the, the best R&B singers in K-pop. I love their voices. I love their voices. They're, I was really, they're really, really soulful, really, really, uh, really rich. rich. Yeah. Um, and they just put out songs that I like. Yeah, uh, me and Kelvin uh, would talk about Too Big a lot. And uh, I, I, there's been a lot of Too Big songs that I really like. Um, their voices are just so smooth. smooth. Just so it's good. like gravy. There's like feeling in it. It's they're like gravy. Just... Some unk. I won't say gravy. I mean. It's like I don't know what that means. Like molassesy? No, that's like sticky. That's it. It's like smooth and Yo, I'm, everything. I'm fucking Asian. I don't eat gravy. That's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. Actually, I don't really eat gravy for the longest time. You're from for, Texas. For, How can you yeah, not eat gravy? Because for Thanksgiving, we would have Chinese Thanksgiving, and there was never like gravy and uh, like like normal stuff. I don't really like mashed potatoes stuff. that much because we Chinese food. I don't know. It happened. Anyways, Tubic needs more love. They don't get enough recognition. If you are a fan of R&B, if you like just kind of acoustic-y, acoustic-y sounding, you know. I would, I would always say, like, this is, like, if I were to ever listen to, like, if I could pick what kind of ballad a ballad should be, like, this is, the, it's not technically a ballad. It's like, like an R&B ballad. Yeah, it's like, it has a beat. It has, like, vo- a voice. and It has a reason for being. Uh, unlike to me, a lot of kind of generic ballads. Um, but for a song titled "Lonely Christmas," uh, in a week of a lot of Christmas songs, at first I was like, "Ah, it's just a Christmas song." But like the music video is actually really interesting. Yeah, I mean, don't write this off as any other Christmas song. It's kind of I want to say a Christmas song on the level. Well, I want to say on the level, but it's the same as you know, as if. Mariah Carey would sing, a, you know, a Christmas song like "All I Want for Christmas Is You," Britney Spears, like those famous songs, those songs that when you hear kind of Christmassy, you kind of know them. I feel like this is going to be that kind of K-pop Christmas song for me. Yeah, I was going to say I don't, I don't even know either of those songs you're talking about. With All I Carey. Want for Christmas Is You, you know, isn't that just a remake of like a generic yeah? But when Christmas they, song? but when they sang it, it's. You know I was just gonna say if there if there wasn't the word Christmas in the song, I wouldn't even I wouldn't have I, it's not Dang. even a Christmas song. There ain't no fucking Christmas in it. Like it ain't no jingle jangle like Except a normal Christmas song. They say Lonely Christmas. Well, they said the word Christmas, but <laughs> there's like five or six other Christmas songs that were released, which we're not gonna talk about most of them because they're just like we are Christmas, jingle jangle Christmas, and it's like no, that's what I thought this song would be, but it's not. Like, it's really not. It's really not. It's really not, and that's why it's one of the two one of the two songs that I picked for this week. But, but let's talk about the music video. Yeah. So, like, what happened? It's like there's like four people, like four two people. happy people, two sad people, two sad ass people, sad ass, um, which people. kind of emulates our lives, sort of. <laughs> As you may guess, not know, guess which one's the sad one? Guess which one's the sad one? It's not this guy. It's not <laughs> Steven. It is me. <sighs> so Steven does have a girlfriend. I do not have a girlfriend. And as you know, Korean Christmas is just another couple holiday, unlike it is back in the states. Yeah, uh, it's it, more family oriented. 
Korean Christmas is for couples. Just couples, nothing to do with family, ain't no presents. It's just an excuse to go out with your loved ones and spend money. <laughs> spend money on it's stuff. Like a Valentine's Day, basically. It is like a Valentine's Day. Um, it may even be bigger than Valentine's Day. But in snuggle weather. Snuggle weather, dude. I, you said that really strange. I did. I, 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 I didn't realize it came out. Snuggle weather. Snuggle weather. I want to snuggle with you. Uh, that's when you go up to a random girl during Christmas. Oh, I snuggle. Oh, that'll work. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm so... <laughs> Maybe, like a little, uh, snuggle. Maybe that's why I'm so lonely Christmas. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so seriously, uh, just because it has the word Christmas in it, like it, it it's just a great song. It yeah. could come out whenever... The music video like does a really good job of being like, man, these people are happy because they have their they're together and they these have a loved one, and these people are sad. It's not like overly dramatic sad. It's not yeah, just like I don't know. I don't know. How it's kind of it. it's kind of what you would expect people like real life people <laughs> to yeah. be lonely or sad, like how they would act. But it's a very simple video. Um, yeah. The girl in it is really cute. One of them. <laughs> one of them. I mean, um, there's nothing. I mean, for me, the video wasn't really anything that special. It was more of a song that really caught my eye. Yeah, I just like kind of simple, with a purpose kind of thing. Because what, what is this? You like a music video? What I is think this? I it's like one shot. I like. Who are you? Uh, some music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyways, let's talk about the second uh, music uh, video we gonna talk about, and that is Hei Ni with her song Love 007. Now, Hye Ni, mm -hmm. which is spelled H E Y N E, which is not remotely correct. Yeah, uh, if you look at yeah, if you look at the the Korean way she spells her name, it's like a Hye and yeah. then E Ni. That is literally how it sounds, but which makes sense. It's just they spelled it Henna Henny 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 Henny. Um, but anyways, uh, she is a relatively new artist. I know she came out with a song a while ago, and mm -hmm. when I listened to that song, I shut it off in five seconds. Mid because years, her voice is, I think in multiple comments, like, she's like the chipmunk voice. Chipmunk, her voice is very shrill, is what I would like to, to say. Um. It's a chipmunk voice. It's, it's very chipmunk -y, very high-pitched. Whiny. A lot of people, like, when they listen to Jessica of SNSD, will say she has... A really shrill voice, but Hye Ni takes the cake. Yeah, she I, takes the cake about chipmunk voices or high pitched voices because mm, it hits you in the ear ball a little bit. It, it, it like it, it, it kind of fucks your ear a little bit. <laughs> yeah, um, you've, little you've just witnessed this because if you're listening to the audio version, I put that audio in there. But um, I will say though that the song itself is actually kind of. Okay. It's really catchy. Yeah. So it's really catchy. The music video is, is really fun too. Yeah. And I I know I get a lot of flack for saying this because I say it a lot, I feel like. You don't get any flack ever. <laughs> but if like A Pink sang the song, it would have been dynamite. Yeah, it's it's a cutesy song. The dance is really cutesy. Um it would I think fit A Pink decent well. Not saying she's not bad. Like she does a good job in the video. She's and a good the song. singer. It's just, it's just her, her voice. Her, her pitch is just very, very high. It's very high. Yeah. And it's hard to hard to listen to that without kind of feeling annoyed a little bit. But everything about this song and this concept I like except for the pitch of her voice. Yeah. And that's kind of a little bit unfortunate because, you know, you don't you don't really it's usually the opposite, right? Like someone you would say, Oh, this person's a really good singer, but this song's not very good. And it's music video so so like normally I would say Spica Spica they're great singers but they really haven't really had a hit. Yeah, the songs you know are yeah. never too meh. And I feel like this is a great song. It's arranged nicely. The music video is really really fun and really like it's really song, cute. It's really yeah, cute. It's cute. And her voice is, is what knows it. For her me. voice makes me want to strangle chipmunk. Strangle <laughs> chipmunk. Like, Just to hear why it go. Are you, talking? <laughs> <laughs> so you never will speak again. But I've said it about I think Sistar, right? So we said it about Sistar and, and Hyorin's song that we think it sounds like a Sistar song, and we said it about Taeyong's Ringalinga. I said it would sound better if GD did it. And this song would sound better if A Pink did it. I wouldn't even go with Abe. I'd just be like, someone without a goddamn chipmunk voice. Any 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 girl group right now that is that is not that is not doing the whole sexy trend 
um, which is mainly A Pink, maybe Secret, some, maybe Secret. Yeah, no, Dalshabet is doing a sexy. And they all try to do sexy. Most, a lot of them don't succeed. Yeah. But, um, all right, let's talk about the next Vendigaz. So the next song is EXO's Miracles in December. Now, the biggest release uh, of the two weeks, I think mm-hmm. every other release has like 50,000 to 100,000, and of course, EXO is gangbanging it with their gang bang. 5 mil. 12 man gangbang. <laughs> Get that porn, guys. EXO! I bet, I, bet, I bet there's a fanfic about that. I'm sure uh, there's a I'm lot of fanfics. I'm sure there's a fanfic about 12 Man Gang Bang with Exo. Um, which I'm not going to read. But uh, now this song because really... Because you read it already. Read even it. though it's called an Exo song, only three people sing in it. For the Korean version, right? Uh, yeah. Only the three singers. Um, I don't know their names. Pretty much XOK. Members from XOK. Yeah, well this was the Korean version. And mm-hmm. I, I looked to see if there's a Chinese version. But I didn't look very hard. At I least not one. yet. Yeah. yeah. But EXO's so, been kind of EXO's always been kind of bad about releasing things uh, timely, like, timely, mm-hmm. simultaneously. Yeah. Like you get a Wolf video, and then they're like, "John version coming soon." Month later, John version comes out. So yeah, the Wolf one was especially bad. I remember it was really taking, bad. Taking a long time. Um, but anyway, so this song is, of course, their Christmas song. Um, Super ballady. I the only thing I have to say about the song is that I really like their voices, mm. and the song is. In, on a scale from 1 to 10, it's a, eh. Yeah. It's like, eh. From, yeah, to 10, I'd say it's a, yeah. It's like a, meh. It's like, okay, all right. If it was in a coffee shop and I heard this song, I'd be like, okay. These guys, I, they got okay. good voices. The, one of the reasons why I really, really like EXO is that a lot of them have wonderful voices. Um, EXO K, especially. They sing very, very well. Um, but this song is... It, for some reason, it doesn't really move me. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's mm. a ballad, and for me to kind of like ballads, I need to kind of feel it. Yeah, their yeah. voices are great. The song is great, but I'm just not. I don't have that yearning to listen to it and again and again. Yeah, and I definitely don't have the yearning to watch the music video again because for me, this music video was. Poop. It was just like it was nothing. It was shit. It was just it was like shit. all dudes staring at staring at fucking. It's just like fan service video. I mean, which SM does very well. It's like if you like those twelve dudes or however many people featured you're in that, you're gonna watch it. You're gonna watch it. You're gonna see twelve dudes, or I think it's only the K ones. I, I'm not entirely sure. No, no, they're, they're, they're they they have 12? some. I think all twelve of them, or most of them, most of them at least. But it was, it was shot on. I don't know if you guys have seen SNSD, but they have the song "The Boys," and it is the same background same drop as the boys so go compare those two because i'm pretty sure as i'm just reused that that scene and that yeah we were watching background. it and you're like man i can't believe it. i'm like they fucking do that all the time i don't, I don't know why that's i didn't so... say i can't believe it oh, i'm just saying oh, i'm tired yeah. of it <laughs> like how they keep using chess pieces and unicorns yeah. yeah it's like Stop. the whole eat your kimchi uh the brick wall kind of deal like that brick wall shows up in at every. least one music video every month. Yeah. Um, sometimes more. Yeah. Um, but uh, I will say, though, that, like, even though I, I would say Exo's voice is good, and I would say Two Big's voice is good, like, they ain't the same good. Like, <laughs> like, like Two Big's voice no, is, no, like, no, 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 no. way better. Like, like I ain't, like, a million fucking people are going to listen to this Exo song and not even close going to listen to that Two Big song, and it kind of makes me sad. Well, I mean, you just got to compare it because Exo, they are idols, and Two Big are not idols. idols. They are, they are, I think, they're two really chunky dudes. Yep. And they're not very good looking, I wouldn't say. No. Nope. And but EXO, damn so good. EXO, they're meant to dance, sing, kind of do the whole thing, you know, and look good. Sure. Because with idol groups, you kind of want to sell the image along with the music. Yeah. Right? So even though their voices are great. Yeah. It's like great relatively to the to sphere of idols. Idols, yeah. yes. I would want to say that. And I hate the random... SM product placements and you know those little sh- that shit on the bottom that genie, like GD that, music genie player. that fake ass ad that you can't close or like Still advertisements happening. for things and this one was blatantly Nature Republic as some of you know um, a lot of SM artists are endorsement models for Nature Everything. Republic yeah um, EXO and my girlfriend Tayon are, are I, I didn't know you guys models were serious 
Well, I thought she was just I y'all mean, hit and quit it. No, definitely not. Oh, I'm she's, sorry. She's your. She's, she's the my one. main. She's my main. <laughs> she's your top dog. <laughs> That's, awful. That's, That's awful. awful. That's awful. That's awful. Oh man. Um, she's your miracle in December, right? She's my miracle in December. Yeah. On that note, let's move on <laughs> to the next on. one. <laughs> All right. Um, the fourth video is by a girl named Yunha, mm -hmm. uh, featuring Elephant mm -hmm. with uh, her song "Not There." Now, Yoon Ha has been around for quite a while. A good while, yeah. Um, I actually, I, I first started listening to her when I used to be into J-pop, mm. and I really, really liked her. Um, but she's never really kind of super hit the ground with like a like a like an amazing song. Mm -hmm. uh, but we talked about her. I forget if it's with you or with Kelvin. Her last song where it was like, um, it was it was really good. It was like they were like dancing in a bar. Doesn't matter. It was a good song, um, and. I really like this song. I think if I had to pick at this week, it would definitely be this song. Well, that is surprising. Um, because I, I love her voice. Oh, it's a great um, voice. Her voice is really, really voice. good. Distinctive voice, I think. Mm -hmm. And I love, it's weird sounding. I don't know if it makes sense, but I love it when I can hear a song and each instrument in the song is very easily recognizable. Is distinct. And distinctive. Yeah. yeah. Distinct. Yeah. And this song does that very well with like a piano, with a violin, like a violin with a... Yeah. Uh, Cello, maybe. Yeah. Um, with, with just like you can tell where each instrument comes in and out and flows together, and it's not just something that was made like beep 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 pooping on a computer. Yeah. Because um, every every now and then you kind of do want a song to kind of be fun and have those drum kits and electronic noises in them, but I really really love it when you have a mix of the two. Yeah. You like I will almost automatically love songs that have horns in them trumpets things like that and primary uses a lot of those and that's why i like a lot of his things but he uses a lot of those computer generated mm -hmm. you know effects too but every now and then you just want to hear like piano and, you want to hear a song and you want to hear like orchestra song. song and someone singing to it yeah and this is that song this is that song it's a great song mm. um i wouldn't maybe i'm not in the mood for it as of late but um, I wouldn't pick it as a best song, but it is definitely a great song. Definitely go check it out. This video is a little bit, it's a little bit boring. I mean, there's nothing really yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah. Um, the only reason, I guess, it's like one of those things where it's like, Too Big always makes really good songs. Mm -hmm. So when they release another really good song, I'm like, yo, they Too Big. Like, yeah. Uh, um, but the last, I think, Yoon Ha song I heard, I didn't really like at all. Mm. Um, I don't like it when she's too ballady. I like it when she's when there's more music in the background and stuff. And so I think this one really spoke to me maybe um kind of so accentuates her voice right I, I really like her voice puts it on center stage um all right so talking about all that bubbly computer generated business our next song is secrets i do i do secret so now this song um we originally weren't gonna talk about um because it's just a christmas song uh, but the reason that we want to talk about it is that, uh, one, Steven, you really, really like the music video, and why? Um, I've talked about this many times in the last couple of weeks, which is, I I don't want to say I just automatically love one-shots, but, like, I love one-shots. He loves one-shots. I love one-shots. <laughs> but there's many reasons for that. It's not just like, oh, it's one-shot. Like, I really like one-shots because I, I appreciate seeing the work that must have put been put into that. Like, for example, I just watched Gravity a couple weeks ago, which made me think about Children of Men. It made me think about a lot of things that Alfonso Cuaron does, which is he likes one-shot scenes. Um, Children of Men, of course, has a really famous one. Um, and the reason he likes one-shot scenes is because it's all it, – it, he was like, it's always better to see things happen in real time. There's no cutting. There's no, like, face, 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 then this, then this. It's like you're focused on exactly what they want you to focus on, and it takes – a effort and skill and practice to do so and i love one shots i think everything is better as one shot i'm not saying automatically makes it good yeah but um i mean i, I just like it yeah definitely it just because something is one shot doesn't mean it's good hmm. but one shot videos are definitely more than just a gimmick i'll agree with you on that but this song uh, just nothing really special about it it's super 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 what's the word i would use bubblegum is really really super bubblegum for me and 
Which is weird because for me, thinking of secret, I think of like Poison and Madonna and like mm-hmm. like more sexy kind of like, yo, you know. When, when in an era where everybody was cutesy, they were trying not to be cutesy. Yeah. And, and then once everybody started getting sexy, they released like, yoo Yeah. <laughs> they, they're like going the backwards. They're like, all right, everyone's going sexy. We already did that. They're like the anti-trend. Yeah. And this song is super cutesy. Like the dance is cutesy as fuck. It's, um, oh, that, that dance is super it's cutesy. so cutesy. I like it. Uh, to be to be honest, like I love that um, the, the dance is really really cute. Yeah, and I mean the song. I mean it has horns in it, sort of, um, yeah. not like super lame ones. But yeah. uh, I, I definitely agree. I, it's not a great song. Um, I, I think I'm just. It, it was a full week of ballad, 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 and so I actually thought it was a really nice uh, break from it to be like, yo, let's look at these cute girls for four minutes and watch watch them one shot something. It, it's it's great. To see just cute girls acting cute, but sometimes bubblegum plastic is just too bubblegummy for me. And I, I didn't really like this. So, just the pla- the I mean, plastic, yes. Okay, 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 okay. So, let's not, let's not cause any scandals Sigaret. and all that. But their makeup and concept this time made them look very, very, very plastic surgery. Yeah, and we were talking about, we were like, I wonder how old they are. Because for some reason, I thought they were older. I thought they were, like, late 20s. Yeah. Um, for some reason. I, don't, I, I really don't know why. Like Maybe it's because they started with the yeah. sexy concept. I don't know. But then we look it up, and they're, like, 23, 24. I'm like, damn. That just like, blew like... my mind. I was like, really? Um, but even still, that's pretty old compared to A-Pink, which still does the cutesy concept. What are they, like, 18, 19, 20? I think they're early 20s. They're I early think Unji is um, 23 or something like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Unji. <laughs> and, uh, um, all right well that's all the videos that came out last week yeah. the week i sucked at um so once again we Suck want everything. to thank yo, sorry yo you want to are you angry what's going on no i'm not angry I'm not angry that you have a girlfriend that i don't that's definitely not it and christmas is coming up and i'm gonna be alone that's not important but go on go do your thing y'all don't know this but he's been bitter about this for a while Long time. Long time. No, see, long time. Nah, no, <laughs> see, no girlfriend. No. <laughs> <laughs> I see no naked women because I ain't. Uh. You just kill it now. Just keep doing what you're doing. That's what I do. You know what, though? You get all the compliments on YouTube and I get all the bad ones. So that kind of balances, right? That's true, actually. Just kidding. I have a girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, I hate you. Anyways, um, we want to thank everybody who's, uh, who's, uh, who's watched us, who's mm-hmm. listened to us. And, of course, we want to thank everybody on YouTube Mm -hmm. that has subscribed to us. Uh, We really didn't do that much in the last two weeks because there hasn't been much. But we still got uh, 48 brand new subscribers. And so we want to, of course, thank all the new people and all the old people for sticking with us. Um, Once again, you can find us on Facebook at This Week in Mm K-Pop. You can find us on Twitter at This Week in K-Pop. Three weeks ago, two weeks ago, we also started a new segment. We call it... Two way gooks in Korea. Yep. Almost forgot my own title. Um, and it's that's famous. T T W I K. That's it is T W I K. But I was like, this week, what the hell did I do? Um, <laughs> now the uh, two way gooks in Korea is where we talk about just topics uh, about because we live in Korea, right? And we're like, we are hey, foreigners. We're, we're, we're all foreigners. We're all way gooks. Uh, we're teachers. So this week we talked about the difference between the American work ethic for students compared to the Korean work ethic for students. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's really interesting. And so please check that out on YouTube. You'll find it right before this somewhere. Yeah. And just to mention, we're, we are not going to be having a podcast next week because obviously it is Christmas. Christmas. And Steven is going to be spending it with his girlfriend, and I will be spending it eating ramen and crying. Just like two weeks. <laughs> just like two weeks. <laughs> um, just kidding. Um, well, actually, we're not kidding. I'm definitely not going to be here <laughs> I, I actually if i can so there are actually some tickets to uh fx and exo so i might actually might be going to that if i can get some tickets and or people to go with me so i'd go no i wouldn't you wouldn't you don't like either of them enough oh i mean fx okay exo is okay exactly you don't like either of them enough i would actually have gone if if i didn't have uh something to do that day uh but anyways enough about that let's talk about the news um, there was a lot of like stupid news, but we fucking fuck that shit. We talk about news way too much. We're gonna talk about two articles. Yeah. All right. The first Let's article two. is about uh, this big, big, big kind of not bust per se, yeah. but I guess it's kind of a bust. 
Um, the Suwon yeah. Prosecution's Office is Ansan Branch. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's a mouthful. Apparently, they were like, yo, apparently a bunch of female celebrities are prostituting themselves to wealthy executives and uh, and dudes. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, now, the only reason I want to talk about this is that uh, I've talked about this before, I think, with Kelvin, yeah. which is like, a, it is a big thing that kind of to get noticed, to get up into this, into the, the, the branches of the entertainment industry. Anywhere. The, yeah. yeah. Is that you, you kind of got to suck some dick. Um, I, I've heard that from Every a lot of things. Every now and then. It's kind of... Yeah, and, and this is like the first one where it's like a major, like multiple girls. Like some of them are supposed to be really popular. And even um, like still active right now. Yeah, like yeah. we caught you guys doing this prostitution stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but of course they're saying, yo, like we did meet these people. We did, maybe we even did stuff. But it don't mean they paid us, right? Like it, we can have sex and we want to have sex, you know? Yeah. Um, but it's just the whole kind of seedy underbelly of the entertainment industry it's like well if yeah. you want to move up those in power obviously they're going to flex their power and yeah. this is kind of what happens right and, and i think people forget sometimes that like there's little, plenty of talented people in this world right especially yeah. in korea um and it's like it's so sad and, and the thing is it's like i'm sure you know girls suffer the most i think of obviously especially in korea where it's a very like Still kind of a man, gender discrimination, yeah, man centric yeah. uh, uh, place, but you know America sucks shit at that too. Um, it's just kind of sad when I like when I, I hope it, yeah. they don't like it doesn't come out like exactly who it is because it's like even if they they you, might even they might be even that. the victims right yeah like, you don't you don't know a whole full story like there's a, a little while ago there was a news story about one of these uh, one of the older like singers, like guy oldest thing, like a Sunday. Mm. And he was kind of like terrorizing a lot of the rookies and, you know, new people in the industry, you know, to kind of be like, hey, you know, I'm a sexual predator. Like if you want to go far in this industry, you better listen to what I say. Yeah. Like like it's it's a pretty well known thing. Like someone was caught a little while ago. Um, yeah, like underage girls, right? Yeah. And all of that. It's it's just kind of swept under the rug because the K-pop machine and ent- entertainment industry is kind of, you know, what it, it is. It's a machine. Yeah, it's and a machine. there's oil involved that you need to suck. <laughs> Why always got to make it so nasty now? Because it is nasty and it's gross and it's horrible. Um, mm-hmm. But just, you know, I, I, I'm really looking, f- not looking forward to, but I hope to, hope see. to see some more details about this. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe put a stop to it, but. That's know. a lot. That's a lot of, it's an uphill battle. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, but now let's talk about the only real news story that I care about. He cares about. This is actually the only real news story. Okay, so just for the record, we there's a lot of Girls' Generation, SNSD, Shonishide news. That's not news, not, though. But it's not too important. But we'd put it in be, just for me. But I'm being unbiased and say, let's skip all that news. We, we're long-winded anyways. It's not news. So let's talk about something. Rumors ain't news. That is important to you. Rumors ain't news. That is important to you because this is technically a rumor. It's technically a rumor. This ain't a rumor. Yeah, this is a rumor. No, you got fucking, it's it's, it's all, it's all, it's official. This shit's official. So what's official? Let's talk about it. My favorite X group, Wanna Girls, may rest in peace. Well, they're not dead Um, yet. Okay, they're not dead yet. But, so we know the leader, Sonya, she had a baby, she took a leave of absence. The other people kind of branched out, do their own things, Mm -hmm. and uh, it was relatively big news, if if the Wonder Girls aren't even relevant anymore, that Mm Sohee is not going to renew her music contract with JYP, for sure. Like, JYP has said she ain't doing it, she may uh, stay with us to be an actress, but she is definitely not renewing her music contract. Uh, contract. So she definitely wants to be an actress, yeah. um, no longer pursue music, which is a little bit of a shame. But you know, I mean, she couldn't her, shit. It is, it is her <laughs> life. It is her life. Right. Right. So you you kind of I don't want to say expect this mm-hmm. with girl groups. Um, I think Wonder Girls, um, SNSD, and Kara all kind of debuted around the same time, same mm-hmm. year, same year actually, same year, mm-hmm. and. Um, there's kind of a shelf life for girl groups yeah. in Korea. Maybe not the same for for guy groups because they, for some reason, have like extended 
well, popularity, right? They have the military that really fucks with them. Yeah, but th- f- they could come out of the military and then go back, and then their group will still be intact. Mm-hmm. I.e., Super Junior. Half of them are in the military, but they still their their stuff still sells like hotcakes. Now, when you look at Kara, who's who's having all these you know contract disputes with Ji Young and right and Nicole, mm. right? So that group is on the verge of breaking up. Wonder Girls is on the verge of breaking up. It's surprising to me that girl groups can even last this long, yeah. um, because they kind of have a short shelf life because. You come out and you're either cutesy or you're you're something, and you kind of mature into like a sexy concept. Now, mm. if you're done with the sexy concept, you try a few things. Nothing really works out, and then you kind of just disappear. Yeah. Right. But I mean, for me, it's like even even guy groups, I I don't think stay around for that long, um, except for rare exceptions. Like S and is a rare exception because they're the best group, or the most single popular group. Yeah. Like if. Kara was more popular. I think they would have found a way to work out their problems. Probably, um, yeah. But they didn't. If one of the girls didn't go to fucking America and ruin their shit, that was a horrible decision. Um, mm. Maybe they would still be together because. Yeah. But honestly, I think if one of the girls didn't try the American market, they would be up there with with SNSD for best girl group right now. Yeah, but they were pop- more popular than SNSD so popular. until they left, and then they were SNSD so popular. shot past. Yeah. Um, I will. <sighs> Sorry, I will man. cry about that. Sorry, man. I'll cry about that every day. Oh, my see, deathbed. See I'll be our, like, JYP. See our fat, see our fandoms can can feel oh. sorry for each other, even though we're kind of rivals, right? In fandoms. No, here. we got we got killed. We got what killed. You, what, so you, what do you guys call Wonderfuls? I don't fucking know because I'm not like you. I don't know their birthdays. I don't know any of that shit. But you named two of your cats after them, so I I'm did, just saying because they're cute and my cats are cute. Uh, which, by the way, I got some pictures from some of them. Uh, uh, I missed. Anyways, we're talking about K-pop, not about Anyways, personal life. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it kind of does make sense for Soya. I mentioned before, like, she was mm-hmm. never the, a the good best singer. singer. Yeah. She, she was not good. And she knew she wasn't good. And even as a Wonder Girl fan, like, she wasn't good. Um, so, you know, being an actress is great. I, I haven't seen her in anything. Um, but to be fair, I don't really watch that many dramas or, or TV uh, movies because I don't have time. Mm-hmm. Have you seen her in anything? You watch some dramas. I do watch some dramas. Um... Nothing really stuck out to me as like wow that really mm. you know she didn't like Unji like she didn't yeah like, like you know. it's not any like Unda para like 1997 yeah. like Reply 1997 that one put people on the map you know? true but yeah I mean like a bunch of SNSD members have been in dramas that I haven't really mounted to too much well Yuna is was pretty popular um, she with is? dramas yeah she had Love Rain I think. But I thought that didn't even do very well. It didn't. The ratings were like not very good, but like everyone kind of acknowledged her as an actress after that. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's good. Yeah, like you know, Yuri was in one, and yeah, uh, Soo Young was in one. Soo Young was in one. Yeah, she's now Jessica's in. No, not Jessica. You know, in, in one, one now. Again, yeah. Anyways. Um, I don't even know what we're talking about. Oh yeah, so uh, <laughs> I, 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 all this is is just R.I.P. Wonder Girls. Like even if you come back with just three members or brand new, like you, like people are gone. Sumi is already gone. You know, like Wonder Girls ain't Wonder Girls no more. Like I think you should just let them let them free. Yeah, so let them fly. Like a lot of a lot of their contracts were expiring. Like Sun and Yenny, they they were they're gonna expire at the end of this year. But I think. Um, uh, well, Sun, Yenny, and Yubin like kind of agreed to resign. Yeah, but they're like kind of working out the kinks, I yeah. guess, because Sun is obviously married and she has a, you know a child. Yeah, so she probably has some special requests, right? I do like how the uh, fifth member uh, who replaced Sun Me, which I can't even remember her name because I didn't like her. Um, she's not even mentioned in this entire article. <laughs> It's just like, yeah, son and Yeti and you've been, of course, and so he and yeah. Um, See, those are the ones Wonder I know. Girl? Uh, I I don't I don't I don't know almost nothing about Wonder Girls, obviously, because I like Girls Generation, and I know Sun, I know Yeni, I know Yubin, I know Soe, I know Sunmi. I don't know this other girl. Yeah, the, the, I don't know who she is. Well, it's her fault. I mean, it's not her fault because she came in when they were in America, yeah. and, and of course, irrelevant. But I, I just want to say, I, I, this is officially me. I'm. Really old. This makes you feel old. It makes you feel old when your group is like now gone, right? Yeah, because well, you've been around. Like when you first started to listen to K-pop, you have that one group, be it you know SNSD, Big Bang, Super Junior, right? Yeah. And it, 
we I think I've said this before, but the generation is kind of like starting to reset again. Because mm, yeah. Finkel had the whole kind of cutesy thing, and then SNSD took over for them. And then now I think A Pink is coming up. Yeah. And they're gonna take over SNSD, but Yeah, all the groups that, that I K pop grew up with, yeah, like are all now the old groups, which is either disbanding, doing solo things or what have you, they're just Yeah. Yeah, we're 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 getting into that uncle fan level. Sam as Tom many fan. as many Korean girls yeah. that we've met always call us uncle fans, um, because uh, apparently, like I'm 25. Like uh, Korea is a very <laughs> group culture. It, it, there's like a a one path that almost everybody follows, and apparently that path is once you get past high school, yo, tricks are for kids. Or Do you even, know, like even early <laughs> college, like yeah, it's, it's like you shouldn't like K-pop anymore because that shit's for kids. For teenagers. Yeah, it's for kids. Um, which is why all that hip hop R and B stuff is, I think, getting more and more popular because I think it has now changed to be the general trend of like, yo, we know what that like. Let's move on to to our to our more gangsta selves. Yeah, like the college kids like you know more like dynamic duo, you know, or ballads, like that. or Love ballads, ballads, or ballads, and kind of high school is like the idols, right? Yeah. Yeah. But whatever. All right, let's talk about the music videos for bad, this bad week. Days. We got five more now. Of course, Josh picked a best song from last week, and he picked a best song from this week. So the best song for this week is Dong and Unyuk's "Still You." Ajik Nan, Ajik Donan, I think it is. But it. So if you don't know, right, the Dong and the Hyuk are from Super <laughs> Junior. Yeah, they're from Super Junior. <laughs> Why um, weren't they called Dong and Hyuk? I think, Damn, I think that's awesome. I think that's kind of their little like nickname. Dong Hyuk. Dong Hyuk. Yeah, huh. but. They released, I think, two other songs, like I Wanna Dance and Opa Opa. And they were like kind of dance, they were kind of dance tracks. Um, but this is kind of really mellow. Mm, how, how would you describe it? It's really a mellow song. I wouldn't really say R&B ish. It's like a ballad R&B, R&B maybe. I don't yeah, know. But it, I don't it's know. a little bit ballady, a little bit R&B. Ballad with has, the beat. It has, some, it, the has, beat. it has a rap verse in there. And it is, I'm, in my opinion, really, really great. Um, the video is really, really simple, but I really like the way it is directed and shot. So if you kind of like something simple and a little mellow song, go ahead and check it out. But I can understand it's, it won't be for everyone. I, I mean, I don't know how you feel about it, Sam. I mean, it was a decent song. Uh, the voices are really good together. Um, I, I mentioned that I really like duets. I really like duets where they weave in and out of each other, sort of, like a Disney musical duet mm-hmm. or like a, like a high school music, like a musical. Like, mm-hmm. those are duets I like, where they're playing off each other, or they're singing together. Um, and a lot of K-pop duets, or whatever, or featurings are like, you get a verse, and you get a chorus, and you get a verse, and you get a chorus. And it's like, they don't come together. And maybe it's because their schedules are so busy that they don't really get to record together. Maybe, but... yeah, yeah. But this one has a little part where they're a little playing with each other. You know, playing with the dong, playing with the hip. <laughs> um, a little, I wouldn't say harmonization, but they're kind of like... Yeah, little, they're harmonizing little, in the little, background. They're riffing together. No. And it really surprised me because Dong and Unyuk are not the singing line of oh, Super not? Junior. No, they can't sing for, for shit. I thought they were pretty good. Huh? Yeah, it really surprised me. It's like, oh, they sound really good. Because Dong and Unyuk are known to be the best dancers in Super ah. Junior. Oh, so that's why the last ones were a dance one? Yeah, that's why the dance tracks. Mm-hmm. And I was expecting a dance track. And they came out with this kind of like croony mellow uh, i was really surprised and pleasantly yeah. surprised yeah I, I wouldn't have guessed i thought they would be the 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 the, the x the three x's i think they'd be the singers of the because they sound the really good right oh yeah the singers are the k k y there's like the three letters right that don't they come out with songs where it's like the three singers uh i think we k y k y p i don't remember I just can't. I can't remember. Like yes, yes, song is I think one of them. S K Y. I don't know. But uh, anyways, that, SKY, I I, that I realize now that those were supposed to be the best, the three singer dudes. Um, I, I the MV for me, I didn't really care for. Hmm. Um, it does that like split screen thing where one thing's going on with one, and sometimes they link up. But I've seen that like six times already in the hmm. last like six months, so I'm kind of mad about it. Um, <laughs> kind of mad. Oh, like it, well, I didn't even think they did a good job of it. Like I've seen some of the indie ones where like they link oh, the two really scenes really good, way yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they kind of started out linking, and then they kind of just gave up and was like, yeah. "Yeah, it's very, it's a very simple video." Yeah. Um, all right, well, let's talk about the next song by a group called Big Star with their song "Standing Alone." 
Now, big star. Big star. Not um, very well known. Big star. Not very well known. Um, I know that when they came out, they were more of like, yo, we kind of dancers. Like we got that pow- quote unquote powerful dancing, uh, which Josh doesn't agree with. Um, but I thought they were decent dancers at the time. Um, but that was at a point before, like, of course, Ring of Ling and before, like, even some of the more recent Shiny songs like Rip Horn, uh, Exo's Growl, you know. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't know. I was really surprised, actually, for me to like that I like this song until I realized that they belong to Brave Entertainment. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> Steven likes the Brave Sound song. I, I, I actually don't know if it was written, of course, by Brave Sound, but I mean, this is company. The same company, yeah. Um, but there's just a lot of small things in there that just speaks to me, like uh, like the chorus I really, really like. I really like the way they kind of do some of the notes and stuff. It just it just hits me in the The way it's arranged, right yeah. yeah. See, for me, it, it sounds very much like a Brave Sound song, but not... Like not like the very, rap song. Yeah, not a very good Brave Sound song, I'm going to say. Um, it's a decent song, but I, obviously I don't hate it because Brave Sound made it, and they're, he's a really good producer. But this song just doesn't just doesn't do it for me. It just doesn't, you know, like um, same same with that. Uh, what was that song we talked about a while ago? Electro Boys song. You mm. you still love that song. I love that song. And I'm I'm done with it. I'm done with that song. song. It's off it's off the flavor of my month playlist. Like it's gone. And <laughs> this song I the, think I'll enjoy for song. a while, and then it'll be gone, and it'll be one of those songs. Yeah, it's definitely a, a preference thing because. Yeah. For me, like I would listen to this song probably way more than I would listen to the Dong Jump song. Mm. Um, and I think it's just how we do. Our music video is just different taste. Stupid. I mean, not stupid. It's just boring. It's just dudes looking sad. Yeah. Um, so whatever on that. But uh, big star. I don't know. They're not too big. Yeah. Um, give them some shout outs. I don't know. Go check them out. Brave sound. Give them some love. Brave sound. Brave sound. All right. Oh no, that's the JYP. That's it. Champ brave sound. That's I haven't right. heard that that whisper in a while. Because JYP hasn't really been doing much. Well, we got married. Dyed his hair a weird color. Oh, yeah. Dyed his hair like well, Who would do, do that? A few in a bum. All right. Don't take it in the butt. Don't take it in the butt. <laughs> uh. So the next song is by Top Dog with their song Cigarette. Now, Top Dog is a relatively new group, I want to say. We yep. say relatively new group because we're old farts now in the K-pop world. I thought it was one guy at first. And it turns out to be 12. It's 12 guys. It's 12 guys. <laughs> I was like... Yeah, there's like the the whole music video is like they show one at a time, one at a time, one at a time until like halfway through, and it's like you know twelve of these motherfuckers. How many um, rappers they got? Oh I, they had a lot of rappers. I literally said that while we were watching the video, yeah. And it was on the, like the third rap verse, and I was like, is this their third rapper? Yeah. How many rappers they got in reserve? It like, makes it makes sense, right? I mean, EXO's probably got like at least three or four, three maybe, uh, two. They I, only have one rapper per I per think, six. Yeah, I think they only have one rapper per six, like one rapper per camera. Well, they upped them. They were like, they got 12, we got 12, we got more rappers. We got three got more rappers, rappers now. at least. Uh, three rappers at least. Uh, I will, though, say, like, if, if you were to beat, like, if you were to sell us to me, like, yo, they're named Top Dog with two G's on each, or sorry, two P's and two D's, I'd be like, shut the fuck up. Get out um, of here. Oh, we got, Get yo, they here. got 12 members. I'm like, just, Get out it of just here. sounds terrible. Um, but this song I, is called Cigarette. Yeah, yeah cigarette, out of here. Right, like, what are you doing? But actually, the song, I, the I song, think it's not bad. I, I like the song. Like I like the song. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good song. Uh, the video is kind of... Just male faces. Again. Just Yeah, just shots of the 12 members. Maybe it's one of those, I like to call music videos that get you acquainted mm. with the members. Uh, I think since there's so many of them, they kind of have to have a music video that's kind of like, oh, here's what he yeah. is. Here's what he is. Here's what he is. And... We have one girl for 12 guys. Share her. Share. That, that's also fanfic. That chicks to dick ratio is not not, not up there. It's yeah, not. she's got too many dicks. Too many dicks. And those too many dicks on the dance floor. <laughs> too many dicks on the dance floor. That does describe uh, Korea sometimes. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Anywhere, basically. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so actually, you know, you think that it wouldn't be that, but like, actually, the song, I thought the singers were pretty decent. Um, the tune of the song was not bad. Like I was pleasant. I really surprised. liked the melody. Yeah, the melody was really good. The beat was good as well. Um, the, I mean, there's nothing that would make me go, "Wow, this song is amazing." Yeah. But this song is a good song. I'll listen to it again, and then I'll probably get tired of it. But I'll listen to it at least for a decent while. I think. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool. 
Uh, the next song, second to last song, is by a group called Miss S or Miss Money with their song, Just Let Me Live. Now, Miss S is kind of a mm-hmm. fan favorite for me. Yes. Um, pretty much ever since uh, one of them Long time worked ago, yeah. with Verbal Gent, like at the very, very mm-hmm. beginning of January. I was like, who this? Um, and I've actually <laughs> listened to a lot of their songs, really liked them. Um, now, this song sounds like a Miss S song. It, it, like, mm-hmm. it, everything sounds the same, um, but I still like that same. And uh, I don't know. I, you should tell what you feel. So, Steven does. Um, kind of lean more to the side of if he likes a certain style, he will stick yeah, to it. I like that. And um, I'll, I'll kind of experiment with a little bit more things. Okay. Um, before I met Steven, I hadn't heard of Miss S, uh, to be honest. And when I when we started sharing kind of like our music li- K-pop music libraries with each other, uh, this is one of the, the bands that kind of stuck out to me. I, I was like, oh, these, these girls are really, really good. They, they, they rap really well. I really like the way their songs are laid out. And this song is just the same. I like this song a lot, but it's just, I guess, not my style mm. in music. I'll acknowledge it's a good song, and I like the song, but just not something that I would like continuously, yeah. if that makes any sense. Yeah, we're very different music listeners. Like, yeah. I've always, I've said it before, I'm a dude who will listen to 10 songs. I listen on repeat for a month. And then I'll get tired of them. I'll move on to another ten songs. Yeah. Uh, but I'll listen like I'll listen to one song twenty times in one day. Like mm-hmm. I'm okay with songs that sound the same because if I like it, I like it, um, yeah. and I'll continue liking it until I play it way too many times. Yeah. And for me, I like to have a list of maybe fifty songs that I listen to throughout maybe the course of two weeks, yeah. and then slowly songs I'll just start weeding them out, weeding them out, weeding them out, and some songs will kind of stick throughout time. Mm. And that's those are the songs that I kind of associate with my style mm-hmm. and the songs mm-hmm. that I like to listen to, and or maybe it'll just stick out and surprise me. Yeah. But if you look at my playlists, they're either you know of one genre or just you know trends of that month yeah. with just songs weeded out. Yeah. Wow. So very, very, different. very different. Yeah, we listen to the music very differently and. We like a lot of the same things, I feel like, mm. but... You definitely like a lot more things in general than I do, mm. um, but I have tried a lot of new things that, that, you, that you've that uh, you sent me or, or, mm. or I've heard because you play music all the damn time. Um, all the time. All the time. Uh, I'm listening to music you actually, all the time. You have to listen to music to sleep, right? Like You have to listen to something. Um, right? You can't sleep with something. Yeah, it's, right? it's become a bad habit, uh, but... For the past, I want, I want to say, year and a half or so, or two years, it's hard for me to sleep if I listen to music. What, so what so. if you have, like, you know, I, I hate to bring this up again, but what if you have, like, somebody over? You know, a girl, someone who I don't know did? Like, oh, it's been, like, a year since <laughs> I had a girlfriend. Maybe, wait a second, a year and a half? Are you saying a year it's and a half? It's been, like, a year. Almost, uh, oh. almost so, yeah, maybe a that's... year and a couple months since... Uh, I've had a girlfriend, so that's not been a problem in the past year and a half. And ever since then, you must listen to music? Wow. Huh. 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 I wonder if there's any correlation Uh, there. All right. Well, let's talk about the last song of the two weeks. What have you? So this last song is um, a solo project of a member from Beast. The Toost. The Toost. His name is Jinung with his song Blossoms in Flower. Jinung. Now this song, um, Jun Young is is the rapper I think for for Batuste, right? He has a very distinctive voice. He has a very say. kind of deep, deepish voice, and when he is kind of sing rapping, sing or talk singing, mm. sing talking yeah, yeah. in this, I actually really like it. You, I know you don't like it very often, but I liked it mm. in this one. And once it hit the chorus, I didn't want him to sing though. <laughs> I didn't want. Him. I was like, get like Hyunseung or yeah. or like Yosup on this, yeah. you know, make it like a unit or something, because someone else needs to sing. I'm not, I'm not down for his his singing voice. Yeah, his voice is like you mean like he's got a low voice. And yeah. When I think of low voice, I'll think like Top, but Top just has a timber that's like low, but with power and with it resonates well. Yeah, like he he sounds like he's got rhythm. He's got he's got style. But 
Like when I'm listening to Junjun rapping, like I'm tired. Like he I'm sounds tired. lazy. He sounds like he just woke up. He's got that gruff voice, and he's just talking like this. And I'm rapping about flowers. Um, and it's like okay, it's, I don't I don't know how to describe. Like I, it just sounds not lazy. What would be a good word? It just sounds lack of lack of days ago. Lack of days ago. That's a good word. Yeah. Like if you're a rapper, you need like some kind of rhythm, some kind of like force in your voice and. He's okay in beat songs where he doesn't go on for that long. Um, like actually, he's kinda, just like a snippet. Yeah, yeah. I actually like it, his voice in like Shadow or something like that. Um, it's like rain, rainy, cloudy, blah, blah, blah. but it's just like I'm just talking like this, and it I can't really monotone. do a whole sound, a whole song of that. Yeah, it's really, really monotone. You kind of need some sort of contrast with it. That's why I was saying mm-hmm. I liked it for the parts that he was, you know, sing, rapping, sing, talking, however you want to call it. And then you kind of get to the part where someone needs to sing. And someone needs to break not, it up. Someone needs to do something to to raise it from you know just flatlining to like a peak or a, a valley mm. or something. Mm. And this song just doesn't have it. But the music video, in my opinion, is really, really cool. 10% of it is really cool. Yeah, 10% of it is really cool at least. Um, yeah, all the like the cool effects with like the flowers yeah. and melting candles. Yeah. So just some of the graphics are actually pretty cool. Yeah. Um, his head, sex. his severed head in yeah. the flower yeah. bouquet. I mean, okay. Yeah. Um, but the rest of it is just like, yo, we kind of thug. Like, we're going to no... rap in fucking construction worker plays and I'm going to stand on this. Yeah. Clothing. I want to say maybe half of it has no point and the other half is like really cool effects or imagery. Mm. So, yeah, it's it's kind of like a middle of the road song, middle of the road music video for me. And that kind of is this whole kind of two weeks. It's like, there are a lot of de- decent songs. But yeah, not bad. They're all kind of the same-ish to me. Yeah, um, they kind of always they kinda all have the same sound yeah. that I wouldn't say we kind of appreciate or mm-hmm. that we kind of like. But it's kind of strange because this, type of e- this time of year, you're supposed to kind of feel in that mood. But I don't feel that way. Do you feel that way kind of in the Christmas season? No. Well, it's weird for us because... Like, we're Christmas moved. is, like, in less than a week, and we're still going to work every day. Like, I don't – you don't actually see that much Christmas stuff. Um, it doesn't – I forgot. I was like, wait. I still have parents. I am still probably supposed to buy them some stuff. Um, I didn't. Sorry, Mom. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I want to get on that. Um, so it's, like, it's so weird to me that Christmas next week. Um, mm-hmm. Now, I will say that – they're probably not going to be much next week. Probably not going to be much until January 1st. Um, and there's going to be a shit ton, shit ton yeah. of comebacks come January. Who's coming back? Uh, SNSD, Shit is Ailey, coming back. All oh, that shit. Right? Shit everywhere. Like, Big Big Bang members are supposed to be releasing songs. I think 21 is slated to come back also with a new song. There is going to be some hard-hitting names in the new year. SNSD will release one song for the whole 2014 just like 2013. I love it! And it's going to be great! No, no but uh, I will say that I don't really know what we're going to do because we cannot film next... We can't not do it on Wednesday next week. We might be able to fit in another time. But yeah. we're actually watching... We forgot to mention we're actually watching a third concert that week too. Like Sunny. Oh yeah, Bum Key, Verbal Bum Gym. Key, Verbal Gym. Yeah. Um, so it, it, it's really kind of busy. We're still working until like yeah. the 30th or 31st. Yeah. Um. We have one day off for Christmas, so... Yeah, one day off for Christmas, and that, that's kind of it. So, yeah. we may... Uh, my original goal with Kelvin was to kind of do an end of the year, pick our best songs of the year. Mm. Um, maybe we might do that. Um, I'm not really sure how that will work, if we have time or not. Let us know if you um, want something like that, because it, it'll be a lot of work, and if nobody wants to listen to us ramble about yeah. older songs, then it's, it'll be a waste of time for everyone. Are you out there? But part of that's my fault. Like, like the last week was like I was I didn't even edit the the, the audio version of the last time's podcast. Oh, it's bad. It's got some stuff happened. Um, but you don't have to feel too bad about it because because he's got a girlfriend. <laughs> that's it for this week. We may see you before 2014, but if we don't, happy new fucking year. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. See you guys in the new year. And don't go.